solo review on Harry's Rides YouTube channel. Um, he's not here, obviously. I'm away with work again. Um, anyone guess where I am? Anyone want to guess? Anyone take a wild guess? Put it in the comments. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, Bournemouth BMX track. Um, I've just asked a few locals whether there was a meeting on tonight because it seemed um, like somebody was putting some lights up and stuff. That dude over there's putting some lights up, and I thought it might be a race meeting on or something. But he, he, apparently, oh, apparently Thursdays is the night. Um, I've done a few of that. There just seems to be a distinct lack of pump tracks in this in in this part of the world down on the south coast. I can only see one, and it was quite a long way out of Bournemouth. Um, and I had a good hunt around, so I had to come here. And um, and it's all right. It's um, yeah. It's it kind of, it looks pretty good in these pictures, but when you ride it, it I don't know. It's, it doesn't feel that great to be honest. But um, anyway, uh, if you're in this part of the world, it's it's definitely worth a little pump around. I'd say there's a car park just around the corner there, so we've got easy access. Um, I'm on the old jumpy. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, just a very small, brief review on uh, Bournemouth BMX track because there was no pump tracks to review. So, um, out of ten, well, you've got to rate BMX tracks a bit differently to pump tracks, haven't you? So, uh, as a pump track, obviously not very high, but as a BMX track, I suppose it's like a six or a seven or something. I think I prefer the Bristol one to be honest. Um, okay, I think I've covered everything, over and out.